Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with the Acting Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Wayne Loper. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from Dr. Loper shortly. Good morning once again, and welcome to the Falcon Report for this Friday, the 3rd of September, 2021, a day two. I'm Aiden Dombrowski. And I'm Aiden Andres. For the first time in a year and a half, South opened its doors to its full complement of students yesterday. To the strains of welcome back songs, students reunited with friends and navigated the far more alive hallways to their classes. And I'm really happy to be back inside the building, even though with the pandemic going on, I just think it's really nice to see everyone and to have a real high school experience. The pouring rain that came as the remnants of Ida passed over the Valley Stream area could not dampen the energy and spirit of South students and teachers. And as South prepared to greet full classes, school and district leaders had lots of decisions to make about how everything would be done. With far more on how this year will look, we bring in the Falcon Report's own Isabella Dombrowski. Isabella? It goes without saying that last year was unique, and as a return to normalcy, South will be instituting some of our old policies for this school year. As you have no doubt seen, halls and classrooms seem to have many more faces as the district has brought back full physical attendance. This means that every class and extra help no longer have an online option and are completely in person. Furthermore, we're returning to our normal bell schedule and a full 41 to 42 minute class with no more breaks occurring in between, apart from the four minutes to move between classes. While last year it featured a six foot spacing between desks, everything will now be three feet apart in accordance with the CDC safety guidelines. While this is certainly a plethora of welcome changes, there are still policies that have been retained from last year for safety reasons. To start, every student must wear a face mask indoors to prevent the spread of disease, and one-way hallways will continue to be used to prevent crowding. To add on to this, all classes will continue to use teams and devices for instruction. Continue to expect assignments having to be submitted on this app, and be sure to bring in your school-issued devices for each class. In looking to the future, a number of fun events that have taken a year off will return. For our newest group of Falcons, expect to have a fun 7th grade mixer this month. And for all students, our annual homecoming will return next month. For the Falcon Report, I'm Isabella Dombrowski. Along with the numerous additions to our school building and procedures, there are new faces in every classroom and throughout the halls. Apart from just the new class of 2027, more teachers have joined the South family, many of whom we'll hear from now. Good morning, my name is Ms. Segovia. I am a social studies here at, a teacher here at South. I am from Central High School, so I do come here for just one period, but I am super excited to get to know the South family. Everyone has been super welcoming, and I can't wait to meet everybody. Hi, my name is Ms. Hoiser, and I am a new leave replacement school psychologist here at South High School. I'm so excited to start this school year. I'm located in the psychology office, which is right across from the guidance suite, um, but my doors always open unless I'm with another kid, but I can't wait to meet everyone um, and start off the year on the right foot. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Fung, and I'm in the language department. I'm a Spanish teacher, and I'm returning from a leave. I'm so excited to be here and wish you all a great year. Well, good morning. I'm Mrs. Taylor. This is Phyllis Taylor. I'm returning happily to South High School. This is going to be my third time returning as a social studies teacher this year part-time, however. So I'm looking forward to a great school year. At the district offices, a familiar face is in a new place. As Dr. Wayne Loper now assumes the position of acting superintendent, the Falcon Report's Emily Nofter sat down with Dr. Loper to discuss his new role and plans for the year. Emily? I'm here with the district superintendent, Dr. Wayne Loper. So, Dr. Loper, how does it feel to be the new superintendent? Well, it's actually quite an honor. Uh, it is uh, my pleasure to lead uh, the district and to try to provide as much opportunity as I can for students. What responsibilities does being the actor superintendent entail? Well, there's a great deal more responsibility. Now it's more global. I'm in charge of everyone and 4,600 plus students, uh, 750 approximately faculty. So you're, the job's expanded and there's a lot m more people that you're in charge of. Of course, now with COVID, 
uh, safety and health of all is really paramount. So it's opportunities, but bringing kids back into school, but making sure everyone's as safe as possible doing that. It's a, it's a fine balance. So what are your major focuses for the school year? Are there any changes you wish to make? Well, as I mentioned a moment ago, uh, providing more and more opportunities. We have done uh, a host of new opportunities. We've expanded summer school. We've started Saturday academies. And two of our biggest initiatives are yet to come. Wellness centers are opening in each of our facilities, open in the evening for students, staff, and their families, and our alternative high school, which is another huge initiative that the district has taken on and I'm very excited to be part of. So what's your personal outlook for this school year? Well, my personal outlook is to, again, provide as much opportunity to bring that sense of normalcy back and to make sure people are secure. There's a lot of anxiety out there. People are not quite sure what it will bring. And frankly, I'm not quite sure what it will bring either. But we will try our hardest and again, provide as much opportunity as we can for the students and just try to have a great year. Well, thank you for sitting down with us, Dr. Loper. Back to you guys. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll talk much more about this year's building upgrades. But first, a bird's eye view of the class of 2022's preparations for the year. The Falcon Report will be right back. Hey, you guys are still here? How about a backstage tour? Here at the Falcon Report, we showcase our various departments, including sports, scripting and news, interviews, editing, and commercials. With so many exciting opportunities, what are you waiting for? Find your place in the Falcon Report. The at capacity hallways and classrooms is far from the only thing that looks different here. The Falcon Report's Ibrahim Kadri tells us all about the work that went on this summer. Ibrahim? It's not just our school's policies that have changed from last year, but the school itself, as a number of projects this summer have resulted in a new look for both students and staff to enjoy. The most noticeable change has proven to be a true sight to be seen, as students and faculty were welcomed with a completely redesigned main entrance and gym lobby. Bright, modern lights fixed against a dark roof set the tone of the new entrance, with fresh white, red, and gray paint reflecting South's pride. When first entering the gym lobby, you may also notice the security vestibule, an updated location for guests to sign in. However, the gym lobby wasn't the only place that received the renovation treatment, as new technologies as well as updated classrooms have been put to use all over South. Previously existing computer labs, such as rooms 311 and 213, have been converted into classrooms. Additionally, the widespread adoption of state-of-the-art big screen monitors have paved the way for an improved, more in-depth learning experience. But that's not all. A new classroom, room 217, has been created in order to further expand South's diverse education by predominantly housing resource room classes this year. Throughout all the extravagant renovations this summer, the school custodians have been hard at work returning desks and furniture to their appropriate classrooms, as well as waxing and cleaning in order to carry the renovation treatment to throughout South High School. For the Falcon Report, I'm Ibrahim Kadri. What weather took the place of the heat that had been with us for much of the summer? Connor Menzies has braved all the weather to prepare us for today and the five-day weekend to follow. Connor? After a stormy evening this Wednesday, the clear skies return to Valley Stream. That surely continues into the day, as pleasant temperatures and gentle winds will be accompanied by sunshine and low humidity. Saturday gives us more of the same, and will be a beautiful summer's day. Sunday may have a brief thunderstorm in the afternoon, but not much else to worry about. Our extended weekend will remain in the high 70s, with only a few small showers and plenty of sunshine to fall. Enjoy the whole on Lee Van South. Back to you guys. Well, that's certainly good news, Connor. Next, we head right to sports, as fall sports are fully underway. The Falcon Report sports producer, Alina Trzinski, has all the facts. Alina? Thanks, guys. The fall season last year being held in March, the teams are back into action far sooner than usual, and wasted no time getting back into shape for the upcoming season. The boys' varsity volleyball team has a solid group of seniors and several other powerful players and are ready to make their mark on a brand new conference. Meanwhile, girls' soccer this year, led by coaches Boyd and Botch, have been focusing on their strength and endurance, clocking a good amount of hours on the track as well as the field. 
Varsity football had an even quicker start as they took part in a three-way scrimmage with North and Central on Wednesday, working to sharpen both their offensive and defensive skills. Plenty more to talk about, but we'll save it for next time. And that's sports. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. Next Friday, the Falcon Report will air a special dedicated to the memory of September 11, 20 years later. And in two weeks, we'll be back with a sit-down with the new chair of mathematics, Mrs. Laura Santa Maria, and far more. But for now, for Aiden Dabrowski, I'm Aiden Andrews. Have a great five-day weekend, South.